All right, man, I am really excited about what we got on tap for today. I'm heading down to Lafitte, Louisiana to meet Captain Tofield Bourgeois the Fourth. He's the son of legendary Captain Tofield Bourgeois the Third, who we tragically lost in a plane crash this past summer. Well, Tofield the Fourth is a world-renowned tattoo artist. Guy's incredibly talented. This is my Lotus and Butterfly playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Peony and Butterfly. Whatever you get. It's my flower shoe. <laughs> Aside from that, he's front man for a rock band called Them Old Ghosts that is lights out good. I mean, incredibly good rock band. And now my boy is up, little baby. I have been and having been raised on the bayou, he's also an accomplished angler. But today we're gonna go run jug lines that he set out yesterday. This is something he does a lot this time of year. And believe it or not, with everything I've done in the outdoors, I don't think I've ever fished jug lines. I definitely don't know a whole lot about it, so I'm eager to learn from Tofield and figure out what some of the tricks of the trade are. This is gonna be a fun day with a really cool guy. I'm really looking forward to it. So, so you put the stuff out yesterday or what? What about you put yesterday? The, really? Okay. So we got it front rolling through the night, so it's good. It was great, but because of the wind, yeah, you can't take crossing the, the lake. So, uh, so, so you cross like what lake? You, you we're gonna go in the. You're gonna go back up this way? Yeah, okay, we're lake going Salvador. Under the all right. Bridge, all right. We're going right in the lake Salvador. I got them close, so we don't have to okay. call. And you don't have to. You can put them right here. We catch, dude. I'll bait this. We caught like a 30 pound catfish. Come on, right here. Dude, they the got dive. so many right here. Yeah. And the reason I'm doing this is to actually catch a goujon. So well, I need like a live perch. Okay. Really. I built so a goujon is a flathead? Yeah. Okay. But trying to find this goujon to document and to, to sketch off of reality right. to tattoo on a buddy of mine who was working on this sleeve. Okay. So this whole jug line thing started to catch that one. Right. Fish. Okay. We'll see what happens. Maybe we got him today. Maybe. But you really need that live bait, don't you? I mean, it makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference, yeah. but I got deer liver on there, yeah. and that's a good... Man, deer liver, any, like, duck guts, if you're okay. interested in this, save uh -huh. duck guts. Okay. All that stuff. <laughs> the nastier, the better. All right. Little stinky cheese out. So, so it's mostly blue cash you're catching, I'm guessing, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's fun. It's just something to do. Like, right now, when it's cold, All I right. know I can go with my boys. We'll, set, we'll spend, like, an hour setting them out and then come back the next day, spend another hour checking them, and have a bunch and of fish. And that's it. And right. it's fun, because you never know what you're going to pull. Right, of course. Mm -hmm. The biggest one we caught this year, it wasn't huge, but it's like 32 pounds. Really? Okay. Dude, when you pull the head out, when you pull that jug up and you see this thing, it's like a cow head. Right. It's unreal. It's, it's like some mythical beast you're pulling up. So your kids got to love it. Oh, yeah. he loves it. That thing is bigger than my son. <laughs> this episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. All right, this time of year, I always store my heavy winter gear in my truck because I need it so much. Well, I'm in the process of moving, so I pulled it all out, got down here, and realized I don't have it. I hate being unprepared, but Toe feels nice enough to loan me something to put over this sweatshirt because it's going to be a very, very chilly boat ride. I'm guessing. What we got? Strike out. You want to catch it on that side? Whatever's easier for you. We got one, we got one. There we go. What? Success. All right. 
Tofield gonna eat tonight. Oh, hey. So is that about typical size or what? Is that yes, average? I mean, I'm that's small, huh? That's okay. Small we'll that's good. Eating. But it's good. It's good. I mean, that's good eating. Unhook that Unhook clip. It. Take, it. take it off. And we'll just throw them. I'll deal with it when we get back. Yeah. Not bad. First little one. Dude, what's your little weight right here? What is this? That's just steel stock. Okay. <laughs> My father-in-law is a, uh, a welder, so he's... He's got he's all kinds of... The one, he's the one that got me into this, man. Oh! My bad. That's uh, all right. Rookie mistake. We both got, uh, like I said, this is advanced level. Right. This right. way is <laughs> making us work for it. Nope. Oh. Skunk, skunky. Oh. No bait. Oh, it robbed us. There we go. Success again. Oh, a bigger one. Definitely. No doubt. Set it down, boy. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, good shot. Come on, big boy. I think the big, big ones just kind of spoil it. They kind of what? They spoil you. Yeah, you yeah. That they all make a sense. Yeah, but I mean, those little ones have to be better to eat, huh? Those well, big that's ones. the great thing about catfish that I love. It's not like when you catch this big 27 inch big, like bull red, the meat's right. You know, nobody wants to right. eat it. Like, it's all consistent. It's all good. To me, at least. It doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. Okay. You're going to grab a side? Yeah, there's no handle on that side. Okay. I grabbed the big ugly one. Right. Put a big ugly catfish. All right, as far as conditions go, man, they don't get much worse. Let me tell you, Lake Salvador was so sloppy. We didn't run half of Tofield's jugs. We just couldn't find them. White caps everywhere, whatever. So he left them out there. But we accomplished our mission in getting a couple of catfish. So now Tofield's gonna show us how he cleans his blue cats. And I'm gonna see if I can con him into cooking them for us. All right, real right, quick, Tofield. Let's just let's talk about the rig. Yeah. Before we clean these fish. It's pretty elementary, but let's uh let's yeah, see what it is. This would be like the 2.0 version, but I normally don't go with this little quick clip leader situation normally this part here is just a continuation of the rope okay you, you pull it on itself tie a little knot but what happens sometimes when the weather gets like that like what we just saw you get that fish and it's tangled up mangled up and you you're fighting with this whole you know rig so with this with this little quick clip if y'all seen these before and they're great so if it is tangled up and you're just trying to get get moving, move on, you know, you just kind of pull it out of there, throw the fish in the box with the hook, and then deal with it when you get back. Okay. Which today was a perfect example. No doubt, we of had to do it. That, right. You know. Okay. So how long is this rope? That's a good question. See, that's where you. It's about yay. On the spot, like there's a science <laughs> to it, and I couldn't be further from the truth. So what's that? I'm guessing. Eight, I'm guessing. Yeah, six to eight feet. Let's say. Yeah. Do you agree with that assessment? I about think six so. to eight feet. All right, and then uh, and then how long is your little leader here? Maybe two feet. Leader's about two foot. Two and a half feet, and and it's a circle hook, little circle hook, and you can play around the sizes on that too. Okay. You know, see what you like. These are fine. That's about uh, a four odd, I'm guessing, somewhere so. in there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, honestly, man, I rated all of my father-in-law's gear. Okay. So what you got to do is take your father-in-law's stuff, <laughs> go in his shed, and get all his stuff. The only thing I actually supplied on this whole operation. It's this jug, the Gatorade bottle. That Gatorade jug. Kids, we worked real hard drinking that Gatorade. All right. No, nah, man, me and my father-in-law set these up, and he's cool enough to set them up for me. He's got all these scrap little pieces of steel stock he made the weights out of. But for the weights, you know, anything, you just, you know, lead, uh, bricks, a lot of people, it's, this is something, there's a unique signature to all these. But yeah, that's pretty much okay. it. All right, and you, you would tell me on the boat that, you know, typically you'll run about 20 jugs and you'll get like six, seven, eight catfish, yeah. right? Is that average? Yeah, and I mean, that's what's cool. You know, I'll, I'll send them out because I'm not, 
I don't have a whole lot of time to run them, so 20 is great for me and the kids. But I think that's the whole purpose of this is it's convenience. It's right by the house. And the kids love it, man. I think it's like running crab traps. The mystery of like what's going to be under that jug right. is always exciting. Now, now, today, you left them overnight. Is that is that protocol? Like, do you ever put them out like in the morning and run them in the afternoon? Is Absolutely. That, you can, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll even run them. Like, I'll run the first one I put out after coming back. Oh, really? Just to see. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, keep an eye on a calm day when you can see what's going on. Yeah, it don't take long. All right, let's, uh, let's get these things cleaned up. You got it. Right on this top fin here, you got like a little hook, so we gotta kind of come right, right over that. Once you get over that, you pretty much more or less just move the same. I heard you run around. You always want to come up, for those who don't know, come up on that rib cage and then you got meat like all the way up here. All the way up to the head, huh? Yeah. To that gill. Oh yeah. So if you had to guess, how many tattoos have you done in your entire career? <laughs> Been tattooing. 14 years. Let's do the math. I would average one to two a day, five days a week. Um, so at most be 10 a week, if, unless it was smaller stuff. 10 a week, 52, 520. Five to seven thousand. Five to seven thousand. But there's been days, there are like, you know, times where you do a bunch of small tattoos. It's kind of morbid, but you know, cut the tail bleed that out so the meat's not tainted with all that blood. Don't feel bourgeois. Butcher's catfish. Up next on Outdoors with Marsh Man that song. <laughs> Y'all wanna see that? Look at that side. Yeah, that's beautiful. Hold up. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, that Woo! was per really pretty. Hey, no, don't perfect. look at that. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> now it's perfect. Oh wait! Look at that. I'm eat that one. He's so good. But yeah, I think big difference, man. Oh yeah, definitely. That tail right, out. You're right. See that? And even the, the two different sides of that same catfish, because you figured that was, you know, it bled a lot when you were mm -hmm. cutting that one out. Mm -hmm. Then you see that much wider meat on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Cleaning fish on the camera. Right. Yeah, of course. What Pressure's are you on. Doing? <laughs> All right, Tofield, I know from following him on social media, is an accomplished cook. The gift he learned from living on the bayou where really men do a whole lot of the cooking, but we decided today for our catch and cook, we're gonna do just traditional fried fish because what better thing to do with catfish and fry it, right? Everybody does it, it's so delicious. That's what we're gonna do, but there are some tricks of the trade to come out with good fried catfish. So stick around and we will teach you some of them. Here we go. This episode of Marsh Mad Mass on brought to you by H&H Lore Company and by Bill Lewis and by Matrix Shad and by Sportsman's Outfitters, and by Death Grip Jig Heads. All right, so you cut the bloodline out just because it's, a, it's a little bit, little bit gamey, right? Yeah, we don't want that. Nasty, nasty, nasty. All right. All right, so first off, what do you do, Tofia? Well. I don't measure nothing, so right. I just glug, 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 till I feel, mm, that feels good. All right. Oh, yeah. Crack up the eggs. It's good if you get the shells in there. Right. Extra crumbs. It's a surprise. We call that lanyard. Oh! And again, like when people, you do whatever you want. You know, I think everybody, I saw a guy, a buddy of mine just fry up fish, and he just dipped the fish straighten mustard and then to the batter which i hadn't seen anybody do and at first i was like Ugh, that's gross but it's like no i'm sure it's delicious i bet people like that would look at milk and eggs and all this extra stuff and like why are we doing that but but yeah i think everybody's got their own little signature 
just like with them jug lines, man. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever little trick, whatever thing you like. Yeah. Josie, what I told you when you're stirring stuff. <laughs> it's some bones in my song, baked potato. Son of a gun, go have some fun, sweet potato. When you stir, you gotta sink. I really just stir them all in there. I don't really, I let them soak for a little second. Now I get in there sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy. That's good. So we just flip them in there. Drop in a little batter, baby. Like I was saying, I've never not been excited about this. Right. I ate so much fried food when I was a kid. I, you know, I didn't eat, I don't think I ate gumbo or jambalaya from the ages of like 11 to probably 20. Why, you didn't like it or what? I liked it, but it's all we ate. Oh, okay. Because we, we started, before we had this lodge, we had the hunting camp. Uh -huh. And I'd go out there and I'd deckhand, and we pretty much, it would just be gumbo, jambalaya, fried fish. And I would cringe at the thought of gumbo or jambalaya. Wow. It took years for me to get back to it. Now I'll still tear it up, but it was just like every week. It was right. all the time. What about fried fish? You ever get sick of that? Never. Never. No, I'll show you pictures of the kid who was never tired of fried fish. You get some shots on the table, the old school, the little, little plump boy. See, I, I told myself, I said, man, I'm going to go film with Todd. Then I'm going to go run to the gym. It's a new week. I'm going to start it off right. And now you're eating fried fish. Now I'm frying fish. Isn't it about to be New Year's? Yeah, everybody goes oh, to the gym now. Yeah, what's today? Everybody goes to the gym. Today's it's January 2nd. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going today. It's crazy talk. I was just going to go run and eat a salad. <laughs> Get them up in this little basket. In your little carrier. This is a much nicer setup than at my house. You know what I do at my house? I don't even have like, I got an electric range, so I just throw a black iron pot on my barbecue pit. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Stink of the outside. So the inside. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Bubbling goodness. Are you like, you like extra crispy or what? No, I'm, I'm easy late Sunday morning, whatever. Right. Can't believe. Well, you can't smell that on the show. Mm -mm. It looks perfect. It smells delicious. Can't think I will. <laughs> Todd, you got any bread sponsors or anything that conflicts with money? Uh -uh. <laughs> no bread sponsors. I'll take one though if you know yeah. one. Fish nuggets, boy. Two hours ago it was swimming. I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Better than the mushrooms? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fresh of bread. Check it out. Check it out. It was hot. Don't burn your mouth. Good job, TJ. Oh. How is it? She's just saying that. On point. It's on point. It's All right. Fine fish. All right. Yeah. I believe it. You can't. I go believe wrong. it. Can't go wrong with fried fish ever. Everybody's got their secret, the way that they fry it. Now I'm gonna show y'all. A lot of people don't know about this. What I do with these fish? The bunny bread. It's the bunny <laughs> bread. <laughs> this is the main ingredient. Huh. Huh. Few things in life are better than a bunny bread fried fish sandwich. Dude, I don't, I don't deny it. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm gonna go we'll see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta that. find the right one. Right in the Ooh. middle. Get that? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Anybody catch it? A little bit would mean a lot. Mm. Fresh Ooh, some mustard. Oh my what? What time is it? It's not even. It's not even lunch time yet, is it? It is ten o'clock. Told you to eat some brunch. Man, <laughs> dude, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So worth it.